So welcome to the anime news for the week ending January 19th, 2017, where we'll start off by talking about Funimation licensing all of the free Iwatobi Swim Club anime films, of which the Take Your Marks film will screen in U.S. theaters March 14th. <clears throat> Just one day, it looks like. They license the other three, the comp two compilation films and the prequel film, for home video, no news on when those will come out. So this will be a one-night screening in Japanese with English subtitles, along with an animated greeting and introduction to the film by the characters from Free, which also was screened in Japanese theaters when it aired over there. Um, so that sounds like a lot of fun for those who like Free. Um, also announced this week, a lot of announcements this week. Um, Bandai, Shogakukan, and Toy announced this week a new franchise, video game, anime franchise called Bakutsuri Bar Hunter. And if I can, I'll try to in, in, insert at some point some images of this. But basically, the, you have these plastic things that snap onto, I think Nintendo 3DS, is that's right. And then you can s scan barcodes in the real world, which essentially spawn the Pokemon slash Yokai slash whatever, you know, little monsters. But then this plastic accessory is basically a fishing accessory. And so you have to fish them and fish them out of the water. I'm a little worried about this because this sounds like a recipe for little kids rushing into convenience stores and just grabbing things off shelves and making messes in the real world to grab barcodes. Kind of, uh, kind of worried. Um, but hopefully this will uh, turn on. And it uses augmented reality. So you see the, the creatures, of Pokemon Go style. You see the creatures in the real world, and you're trying to fish and pull them in. So that's interesting. Again, don't know how that's gonna how well it's gonna work, but it sounds like they're making a big deal of it. They want this to be like Pokemon or Yokai Watch or what have you. Um, moving on to some news about your name. So we now have more data about your name's big airing, January third. Um, we now know that their combined ratings for that, including both real-time and time-shifted, 26% of Japanese households watched Your Name when uh, it aired January 3rd. Pretty ridiculous. A quarter of all Japanese households that had TVs watched Your Name. That's pretty ridiculous. So good on Your Name. Certainly still a huge thing over there in Japan. Um, pretty cool. Let's so move on to some anime announcements. Uh, there's a manga called Cells at Work. We have now been told that there will be a, an anime adaptation of that premiering in July of this year. Um, this is an anime series in which the cells in your body, like the blood cells, and the, or the, the red blood cells and white blood cells are literally personified as people who are running around a giant environment, you know, uh, doing deliveries. And um, so you have, you know, various characters as the cells in your body. And this will be an anime adaptation, like I said, in um, July. There's a site, there's a promo for the anime series. Um, and that's pretty darn cool that we'll, we'll see that. You can get the, the manga. I believe the manga is available in English, um, at least the, the first volume. Uh, there are one and a half million copies of the, the manga in print. Uh, at least in Japan. So certainly a successful thing. And so we'll get to see red blood cells running around in anime. Why not? <laughs> also announced this week, a third season of Ninja Girl and Samurai Master. I always try to keep an eye out for an actual announcement of the anime series. I seem to always miss it. But uh, now I actually caught a few. So Ninja Girl and Samurai Master is sort of a, a, a super deformed... Um, uh, ninja, uh, uh, historical anime series, so it's based on actual events, but with some non-historical characters mixed in, based around the Warring States period in Japan, kind of the unification of the country. So that's cool, and it's five-minute episodes. Really fun little show. There's more of that coming later this year. Um, also, and kind of spinning into the, the earlier news about uh, free in U.S. theaters, Crunchyroll's announced that they're going to screen the Cardcaptor Sakura sealed card film in U.S. theaters. Actually, just in a couple of weeks, 
January 31st, February 3rd, and February 4th. Uh, they're also going to um, screen the uh, prologue episode of Cardcaptor Sakura Clear Card, the new anime series. So this is one of the, this is the two, the anime film that came out in the year 2000. So it's almost 20 years ago this film came out. I believe it's the second anime film for Cardcaptor Sakura. That's right. So um, you get to see the the classic Cardcaptor Sakura anime film along with a preview of the Clear Card TV series. So that's going to be interesting. Um, I believe this is the one involving the Sakura card. Um, and like I said, it will be available um, later on uh, in a couple of weeks, and it will be uh, subbed in theater. So keep an eye on Crunchyroll for more details on that. Finally, we have some actual follow-up on the Mazinger Z Infinity anime film. Opened last week weekend. Uh, didn't do too well. Opened at number six in the box office. Uh, sold 54,000 copies in its first two days, earning about three quarters of a million dollars, which is not bad. Um, you know, it's not not uh, not a complete failure, um, but eh, not you know certainly did not drive people crazy. So that's the news for the week.